They say one who works with their hands is a craftsman. Yet one who works with their hands, eyes, and heart is an artist. See how she's nice and smooth? Nothing major work, but look at that chatoyance. Lane Kennedy defines the word artist. And it's just spectacular. An editorial photographer by trade, wood bowl carver on the side. He looks at ordinary nature and turns it into extraordinary art. Well, nature lures me in because it has so much life involved with it, uh, as well as it's the natural designs of nature. I mean, nature offers things that you can't buy. His talents behind the camera have led him all over the world for 30 plus years, working for National Geographic Society, Smithsonian, and many more. But his favorite place to capture? Minnesota, of course. Yeah, I'm attracted to Minnesota because of the seasons. Uh, I like four distinct seasons. Growing up in Alaska, it became part of who I was, and I am one of those people, when I see the temperature's gonna be 30 below, I get excited about it. I think more than anything, one of the most attractive subjects for me has always been ice. I love ice. The glacial blue is my favorite color on the planet. I just love that color. And we can get some of that during certain times on the North Shore. His artistry takes more than a keen eye. And every photographer has different tools that way. You know, mine has always been one of two things. One, I like motion in my work, and I like the perspective of aerials to my work. In true artist form, when he's not holding a camera, he's holding wood bowls. I'm trying to make it as smooth as I can. Bowl turning for me was art therapy, uh, plain and simple. When I learned to turn bowls, there's something very emotional and um, interesting in being working with something that's tactile. You feel the wood, you're using a different sense, your hands, your fingers, your ears, uh, your vision on how a bowl is turned and where it comes from, from the tree. Instead of cutting down trees for wood, Lane hunts down storm-damaged trees to make his bowls. And anybody that's lost a tree goes, wow, the light in my yard has really changed. And you miss that tree. Well, now it's kind of gotten its own reincarnation, you know, and now it's gonna be something else. And you'll be able to see it and hold that same tree every day. Today, after hundreds of miles traveled, thousands of photographs taken, and dozens of bowls turned, makes you wonder. But that's it. Does it get old? Now it's got to dry for three to six months. There's always something to photograph. You know, I hear blizzards coming, I'm going, <laughs> yes! I can't wait to get out there. See a 110 degree day? Man, you head to the lakes, and look at all the images you can get of people enjoying the water in Minnesota. So it, it, it never ends, it just never ends. And so if it never ends, well, then you can't stop. Bowl turning's no different, continues to motivate you. And so you look around here now, you can see I must be pretty motivated because I can't get rid of this wood. 